Hi, my name is Tommy Frain. I'm one of the co-founders of the Citizens Coalition for Police Accountability. I wanted to explain a little bit about our group. It didn't give us much room on the YouTube page. You can find out more by emailing us at ccpafl at gmail.com, and you can also find us on Facebook. We will have a website coming up soon, and as soon as we do, we'll let all of you know. Uh, the Citizens Coalition for Police Accountability was founded by myself and my friend William Kilgore a few weeks um, before the arrest of William Kilgore, which really led this group uh, to get kicked into gear and really get everything to start going. Um, the group is nonpartisan, um, and most importantly, we are not an anti-police group. Not only do we um, welcome law enforcement officers into the group, but we encourage law enforcement officers to join the group, even if there are disagreements. I think it's um, I think it's healthy to have both sides of the debate. Um, like I said, we're not anti-police. We're merely a pro-accountability group. What we do is we go out um, from a distance of about 75 to 150 feet away. We videotape the police. Um, what we do then is post our stuff up here on YouTube. Um, for the most part, we don't edit anything. Um, and even if nothing exciting happens, if the police do not approach us, if even the arrests or the traffic stop is boring in and of itself, we will post it on this YouTube page. Um, we believe uh, that we want to be as transparent as possible. Uh, we do not want to just make the police look like they're evil or doing something wrong. Um, and we'll also post and probably encourage even more when we see uh, police officers doing, um, you know, an outstanding job, even above what, you know, their call of duty is. I just wanted to get out there and say um, we've had a few different people watching our videos, a few different comments upon our videos from people that obviously do not agree with us. Um, I wanted to clarify a little bit about what our group is. Um, you know, if if you are somebody who's going to say, no, we don't question the police, we don't want any accountability, that's fine, that is your opinion, and we're going to have some disagreements. You know, uh, I like to think, you know, we have, we like to keep our elected officials accountable. You know, we like to you know, elect our president, you know, if he does a bad job after four years, we'll kick him out. Same with our congressmen, even down to our city commissioners. So why cannot we do this with the police officers? These are our public officials. We are paying th their wages, and I believe that we have not only the right, but the duty to keep them in check, because who keeps them in check? For instance, the Tarpon Springs Police. Who keeps Tarpon Springs Police in check? The Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the FDLE. What is the FDLE? a bureaucratic form of a law enforcement agency. It's a bigger law enforcement agency. They're not on the streets um, watching police and uh, how how they react with the community. And I believe that's our job. Um, and I believe that's why we are out there. Uh, we're going to continue to be out there. And we're not... Um, all of our videos posted so far have been in Tarpon Springs. Um, that is where I'm from. I grew up in Tarpon Springs. I went to Tarpon Springs Elementary, Middle School, High School, um, and the same with Mr. Kilgore, who's from a town south of Tarpon Springs. He went to Tarpon Springs High School. That's how we know each other. Um, so our focus so far has been Tarpon, especially since the arrest of Mr. Kilgore, um, because in that town it appears they really dislike us videotaping. So. Our original mission of just documenting police activity is actually turned around a little bit, and now our mission is to prove that we have a right to document the police activity. Um, but while while that is our focus, at least right now, um, we hope to uh, go to other towns, Newport Ritchie, Live Oak, Kenneth City, uh, we've done some in Tampa, and we hope to really make this Citizens Coalition for Police Accountability a national group um, that differs a little bit from Cop Watch, but can work together and can also work with other watchdog groups, um, such as the Law Enforcement for Police, or not Law Enforcement, I'm sorry, uh, Lawyers for Police Accountability, I believe is the name of the group. So we want to work with all these groups. We want to work um, within the system, but we also want to just purely document. This is a very journalistic uh, group. Um, we're not out there trying to get the police to try to come up and mess with us. That is the opposite. You know, as we try to avoid police uh, police encounters as much as possible. Um, so if that if you believe that you'd like to join something like that, I encourage you to email us. Um, this is YouTube, so it goes everywhere. I do understand. Um, if you'd like to even start your own chapter in your own state, email us. Let us know. I mean, you don't have to like you know sign up or send us any money, but it is cool to know that there are other chapters throughout the country uh, sparking. You know, in the past year or so, there have been a lot of assaults on police officers, and that's why I really want to come out and say that we are not an anti-police. Uh, I'm, I'm 
personally, I am a very nonviolent person. I believe that life is the utmost of liberty, um, and I don't believe that any human has the right to hurt or infringe upon the rights of anybody else, including law enforcement officers, and it is most likely never justified. You know, a killing is never, ever justified uh, for anybody, killing a law enforcement officer or another person anything like that. So I really want to come out and clarify that, that this, we are not a group waging war upon police, as it has been said. Um, we are waging a war on um, non-transparency. Uh, we like to see that people go out, monitor police activity, and keep our public officials in check. And through that, I believe that our society can grow, um, and I believe that we can really better ourselves from it. Um, so that's pretty much all that I have to say. I just wanted to introduce everybody to the CCPA officially. Like I said, we have a website coming up. If you want to contact us, that's ccpafl at gmail.com. If you believe that you've ever had any incident with the police officers, you can feel to contact us. If you believe that there's a city that we should go to um, because of police uh, misconduct for the most part or, or anything like that, I, I encourage you to contact us. Um, and I thank you for watching this video. I thank you for watching all of our videos. Um, and once again, my name is Tommy Frayne with the CCPA. Thank you.